Okay, the purpose of this gadget here, this gizmo, is to take a pull either in that direction or in that direction from this band and transfer that into rotation in this big, well, it's a concrete set disc inside a standard wheel. Now, why is that? That's a flywheel just to smooth out all the energy production that comes from the two strokes in this. And again, why am I doing that? It's to take energy from a kite. So if we had a kite traveling up here, pulling backwards and forwards, we can trail that down onto a line, down at ground level, and drive a trolley along either a track or a stretch line there. From that trolley, we can take a line onto this band and pull it in this direction and that direction. And again, we'd have to have that now, so we've got those two strokes. We've got a stroke going this way and a stroke going that way. And we want to turn this wheel to get energy out. Now, why am I using a kite? Because kite is so much lighter than a windmill. There's so much less energy involved than a standard uh, three-bladed turbine. This device would only have to be mounted on the ground. That's the sum total of the concrete you use instead of a massive concrete pad. Um, Actually, saying that you'd have to fix in a couple of pulleys on the ground on your standard crosswind if you're using this for a trade wings. Otherwise, you'd want to fix it onto a ring on the ground or ring on the set a crosswind for that DR that time. Of course, to automate all this in the end, you could automate the control, you could automate all this. Now, here we have, let's explain the frame. You've got a band pulling on these two pulley points here, okay? This web is wrapped around there. It's um, only showing seven times here, you'd double that there. But then, depending on the diameter you make these pulleys, it goes through a notch between the two pulleys here. These two pulleys are close together. And they're mounted on a flip flop freewheel hub. That's a fairly rare hub device. Um, you find couriers and the likes use them quite a bit. Now, what how it works is that you have your standard sprocket mounted on either side. Uh, it's a, the old style uh, freewheel sprocket where the uh, the, the ratchet, um, because it's a flip-flop hub, works one way on one sprocket, one way on the other sprocket. So I'm going to pull this band here. This pulley is going to turn. It's fixed to this um, this sprocket here. This side is going to wrap up on there. So when we unwind this side, that side is going to wind up ready to pull out again on that side. So as we pull, we're going to drive this side. This side is going to freewheel. No drive is going to be put in here as this turns around this way. This side is going to turn around, okay? So that's going to freewheel. And it's going to be um, this drive here. The back. This one is fixed to this to this. So you've got a solid pulley here bearing to the side. And when that's driven round and round, just like normal bike setup here, you're driving your back wheel, your in this case your your heavy power out, your your smoothing power output on that, that flywheel. Uh, we'll take a generator off of here uh, later. You'll, you'll see that in some of the movies that are on YouTube already from the, the K-Power group. Okay, so that's that stroke done. You've pulled out on that band and put energy in on that stroke. So what happens when you want to go that way? Well, if you pull this pulley this way around now, this cog here, this one, the uh, sprocket, sorry, um, three wheels, as it doesn't drive when it goes that way, this one engages and you'll notice it's run not as a band properly, uh, well, uh, sorry, properly, normally um, around and back as this one is. This one's around, you know, a straight chain around. We've got it run just over the top and around a couple of extra um, sprockets out the side so that it runs, it runs backwards, basically. So as this turns around that way, it drives the sprocket the same way around as it was driving when this one was pulling. So if this band was pulling out to this side, turned this way, turned that way, clockwise, okay? Clockwise at the back. If you pull the band that way, this turns, follow the chain round, it's going clockwise again, okay? So you're always getting clockwise motion 
out here. And that's what makes this you know, a two-way drive for a you know, single, single way out, uh, single rotation head. Of course, you get free wheel on, um, ability to, yeah, free wheel at the back as well. Quite smooth.